We're installing the car seat. Here it goes. Well, the car seat base. We got two, one for each car. You're just gonna go for it and not even read the instructions. It's the front. I have the instructions. Got it. Okay. Let's do this. Got it. Oh well, no, there's instructions though. Let's well, see. read them. I'll see. Install with base. Last time I filmed myself while reading instructions. <laughs> I did not do a very good job reading the instructions. Locate the bubble lever indicator and adjust the recline foot by pushing in on both foot adjuster buttons. What is the recline foot? Mm. Yeah. Foot adjuster buttons are those. Got it. And then, see, so lift it up. Yeah, I know. Oh, I thought I, I figured was, it out. Thought I was being helpful. Do it. Do it. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. Check. Okay, check. Pull up on the latch release lever, which is that. Yep. And loosen the latch straps to their full length. Locate the latch anchor bars in your vehicle. Okay. Attach both latch connectors to the vehicle latch anchor bars. Can you feel them? Tighten the latch straps by pulling up on the latch pull strap while pressing base firmly into seat. Are we firm? It feels pretty firm. Now you're not level anymore. I know. What do you do about that? How do you be level and still do all that jazz? Mm, trial and error. We're level. Roll latch pull roll latch pull strap and store in pull strap storage slot. Got it. <laughs> Check your work. Okay. Meaning I think jostle it from side to side. Yeah, I feel like it feels pretty good. I think it's in. Yay! Check your work. Oh yeah, this kid's stand put. Sturdy, level, checks out. Do you want to put the other one in your car? Sure. Okay, let's do it. Car number two. Meanwhile, there's going to be a baby in there in four weeks. Four weeks. <laughs> Look, he's so big. Now I just have to squeeze all my shirts on. Squeeze your what on? All my shirts on. Nothing fits anymore. If it's Nothing not, at all. If it's not maternity, it doesn't fit. Use your muscles. <laughs> All right. Okay, should we see if this baby fits? Yep. Maybe. Can you slide this in? <laughs> Won't be comfortable. There we go. Snapped right in. Try this. Okay, <laughs> now we can go to the hospital and have him because we have a car seat that fits in our car. Yay! Both cars. Both For convenience sake. <laughs> Hi! Hey. <laughs> 35 weeks and six days and on our way to a doctor's appointment. Oh, don't wreck us. I'm so excited. 
because I'm getting checked today for the first time. And I know that being dilated doesn't necessarily mean anything, but it's still exciting to go and get checked. We were just talking before we got in the car and I said to Mike, I really hope the doctor says, go home and get your bag, go to the hospital, you're having the baby today. <laughs> and Mike said, oh, we're not ready for that. And I said, I don't think you're ever ready for that. Like, you're never gonna be ready. I'm ready for that. Well, I'm actually not ready for that because I don't have a bag to go home and get. But I have a list <laughs> that I've compiled of things that I need. So it would be like rushing around the house, compiling the things on the list, but that's work. That's, that's something. That's progress. So we will find out. And group B strep test. You know, just another thing to make sure that the baby's healthy. And that's all. That's it. I'm so excited. Other than I had to shave my legs for this. Well, I didn't have to, but I, I did. Okay. Shaving legs is really hard when you're 36 weeks pregnant. I was in the shower until the water ran cold. <laughs> like, cold, cold, not like, not hot. Boo. <laughs> right, Mike? Yeah. I am not dilated at all. Zero. Zero dilation. And he said that based on his experience and the fact that it's my first baby and that I'm not dilated, that there's a good chance I'm going over my due date. <laughs> Boo! I don't wanna go over. I mean, it's not a guarantee. No. I'm gonna start walking longer on the treadmill at the gym. <laughs> he said, just get comfortable. It's impossible comfortable this baby is probably not coming out however he originally told me he would not let me go more than a week over ah oh, just saying that like makes me sick <laughs> it's not that far you know I always wanted a March baby we might get a March baby <laughs> March 1 that's a Friday isn't it is that work is that convenient for you yeah <laughs> Okay, we're aiming for March 1st. No, we are not aiming for March 1st. Um, anyway, so there's that. Next week I go in and I get an ultrasound. Finally. Finally. It's been 17 weeks since we saw our baby last. But they'll check and make sure that his head's down and the fluid's fine and the placenta's fine and you know, all those things that doctors do when you go to doctor's appointments. But I'm really excited to just have an ultrasound. Yes. I am not excited that I am not dilated. I'm so bummed. I thought for sure I was maybe a little. Mike didn't think I was at all. I thought I was though. Yeah. <sighs> maybe just like a one. Bummer. I'm gonna start eating the dates tomorrow. So the story behind the dates is apparently dates are like a natural way to induce labor and can also make your labor quick, quicker and more smooth. Mike has an employee at work that's Indian that is also pregnant and she said that that's their culture, right? Yeah. That that's what they do in their culture. They eat dates starting at like 36 weeks. Six dates a day. So if you have any good recipes for dates, <laughs> I'm way to incorporate dates. Cause I bought some already. I haven't started eating them. I bought some and they're looky yucky. And I, I imagine I can throw some of them into my smoothie, but I probably can't throw six cause I imagine that would be really sugary. I'm gonna do it though. I'm gonna eat dates. That's the only thing I'm gonna do. There's all kinds of stuff out there that on the internet that says you can do to help induce labor and I'm not doing any of them because they're crazy. Some of them are crazy. 
I will keep walking at the gym and maybe start doing some squats or something. But other than that, no herbs, no teas, no, no, nothing crazy. All right, 35 weeks, six days. It's never ending. There you go. This is the never ending pregnancy. I just wanna hold my baby and not be uncomfortable. And I wanna sleep. I can't sleep. Ever. For the rest of your life. I get a good four hours. We installed the car seat. And it rattles. So we're going to figure that out because that's going to make me crazy. Alright, that's all. No more. No dilation. Maybe next week. We'll keep our fingers crossed.